Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hey, Father, we thank you, God. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you, God. For, Father, God, we know, God, that you are worthy, God. Father, God, you are worthy to be praised, God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for another day, God. We thank you for another chance, God. We thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity, God, to come into your house and worship, God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity, oh God, that we would, Lord God, just, Lord God, be alive to say thank you, God. Father God, there are many that didn't wake up this morning, God. There are some, oh God, that families are grieving right now. There are some, oh God, whose families, Lord God, Lord God, don't have a chance to, um, don't have a chance to be able to, Lord God, come into your house today, but God, we are thankful, God. Lord God, we are thankful, Lord God, for you, God, and we are thank you for the things that you've done, God. God, we are thankful, Lord God, for everything that you've done, God. So, Father God, we just want to say thank you one more time, God, as we come into your house, God. God, we thank you, Lord God, for your grace and your mercy, God. God, we thank you, Lord God, for your love and your kindness, God. God, we thank you, Lord God, for dying on the cross, God, for us, God. Father God, I thank you, Lord God, for going, Lord God, Lord God, going to Calvary, God, with me in mind, God. God, I thank you, Lord God, right now, God, for I don't know where I would be, Lord God, if it had not been for you, God. Lord God, if it had not been for your grace, your mercy, and your love, God. Father God, I don't know where I would be right now, God. Father God, but I still say thank you God. Lord God I say thank you Lord God for everything that you brought me out of God. Lord God I say thank you Lord God for everything that you delivered me from God. Lord God I say thank you Lord God for every ounce of love and grace that you poured out Lord God. Lord God I thank you for protecting my children God. Keeping their minds Lord God. Keeping their hearts God. Keeping their bodies safe God. Lord God for watching over them Lord God. Lord God when they're so far away God. Lord God I just want to say thank you God. Lord God I want to say thank you God. Lord God I what I say thank you God God I say thank you Lord God for the things that you kept me from God Lord God I say thank you Lord God for the time Lord God you allowed heartbreak to come God but knowing that heartbreak will Lord God will save my life God Lord God I say thank you Lord God right now God God I give you the glory right now God Father God I give you glory right now God Father God I give you glory God Father God because I don't deserve your grace your mercy your love God but yet God you still pour it out on me God day by day Lord God <clears throat> Father, so I just want to say thank you, God. Oh, Father, I say thank you, God. God, Lord God, I stand in the gap, Lord God, praying, Lord God, for those that don't know the words of prayer, God. Father God, I pray, Lord God, for every backslider, God. Lord God, I pray for every drug dealer, Lord God. I pray for every, Lord God, pedophile. Lord God, Lord God, for every murderer, God. For every, Lord, dope fiend, God. Lord God, I pray, oh God, that you would send an angel, Lord God, to touch them and move for them in a mighty way, God. Father God, in a time such as this, God. Lord God, I pray that more and more people would turn their lives over to you, God. That would they lift their their hands and surrender it and say, I give it up, Lord God. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that every unsaved believer, God, now, Lord God, that they would wake up, Lord God, and just lift their hands and say, Lord, I give it all to you, Lord God, right now in this moment, God. Father God, time out for playing church, Lord God. Lord God, time out for saying, I got time to come to you, God. Lord God, people are not waking up, God. Hospitals are full of people sick, Lord God, full of people dying, God. Graves are being filled. Refrigeration trucks pulling off with bodies and bodies, God. Oh, God, somebody needs to... Oh, Jesus. Father God, somebody has to have the mind to pray, God. Father God, someone has to have a mind, oh, God, that we, Lord God, can't do it without you, God. Father God, that we will fail, Lord God, if we try to do it in our own strength, God. Lord God, I stand in the gap because of your words. You said that the effectual and the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much, God. Father God, so I stand in the gap, Lord God, for not only my family, Lord God, but I stand in the gap for my enemies, God. Those that would spitefully use me, God. Those that would lie, Lord God. Those that would talk bad about me, Lord God. Those that would rather see me dead than alive, God. Those that would laugh at my failure, God. Laugh when I failed. That laughed in my folly, Lord God. That laughed, Lord God, when I was lost and didn't know, Lord God. Lord God, I pray for everyone, oh God, that thinks or considers me enemy, God. Lord God, I pray, oh God, that you would bless them, God. That you would move for them, Lord God, that you would touch their families, Lord God, that you would touch their loved ones, God. 
Father God, in a season, Lord God, I don't got time for enemies, God. Lord God, I only have time, Lord God, to do that, the will, the work of my Father, God. Lord God, to the one that sent me, God, that told me to go forth, Lord God. Father, we thank you, God. Lord God, we thank you, God. Jesus, Jesus, we thank you. Oh, glory to your name, God. Father God, we need, Lord God, you in this hour, God. God, I need you in this hour, God. Father God, I need you, Lord God, right now, God. Oh, God, that you will continue just to move in my life, God. Lord God, that you will forgive me, Lord God, for my sins, God. Father God, the ways of me, God. Father God, the wrongs that I've done, God. So, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God. And, Father God, we ask, oh God, that you would come, Lord God, into this Bible study, God. Father God, that your word, Lord God, would go forth, God, and that, Lord God, that a blessing be, Lord God, to someone, God, so there's some here, God. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for your power, God. For, Father God, we know that all things are in your hand, God. Father God, we believe that you are the author and the finisher of our fate, God. You are the Alpha and the Omega, God. You are the beginning and the end, God. Father God, you know, we know that you are all powerful. We know that you're everywhere, God. We know that you can't fail, God. We believe in your omnipotence, God. We know that you're omnipotent, God. We, God, we know, Lord God, that it can't be done, God. If it can be done, God, it can be done by you. So we thank you. We give you honor. Amen. We give you praise. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. We're. Amen. We're. Um, we're going to jump right into. Um, the Bible study for the hour. Um. Sitting. Sitting. Sitting down and 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 going through, I I went through and I was trying to figure out um, what would be um, the topic for the hour and what it is that God would have me say to the body of Christ in this particular hour. And I started to understand some things. I, I, I started to see that we, we often, when we often read biographies of great people to learn the secrets of their lives, when we read the biographies of Jesus' Jesus's life, the Gospels, you learn of his greatest secret. We learn that Jesus was molded in prayer. Yeah, yeah, Jesus was molded in prayer. Before that, before we get to, before we can even talk about us being like Jesus, uh, the topic speaks to who we should be. We need to learn to pray like Jesus. I, I, I would, I would argue, I would argue and say that most of us have have a, a way that we pray and an understanding about prayer that leads us into some some falsehoods. It, 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 Paints, it paints a picture that whatever we decide to pray for, that God is supposed to deliver. And we get into the point that we're more focused on what he's handing out than to grabbing his hand. So we're, we, we miss the part where we seek the kingdom of heaven and then all these things are given unto you. But the first thing we want are the kingdom, we want the, 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 uh, the things given unto us. Before we want the kingdom, we want the things. So we, we, get, we get excited, we get excited because we pray in a way that we pray as if when we pray, God is supposed to give it. And, and then we act as if when he doesn't, and he doesn't, that prayer has failed. But Jesus believed in prayer. Jesus knew the effectiveness and the power of prayer. Obvious, he already had an intimate relationship with God. So him already having an intimate relationship with God would exemplify why even the more that we who do not have the relationship should pray even more. 
Because him having a relationship with God, being God incarnated, being right there when he said, I and my father are one, him being so close to him. You know, the Bible says that God is close to us, he is nigh to us, even in our mouth. But he, he could say, look here, look here, not only is it in my mouth, but um, he is me. And still yet he understood the importance of prayer. Yeah. You say, like we never know or experience, yet Jesus' example, we can still have the same motivation and desire to spend with the Father. We need to believe in prayer. Sometimes our motivation to prayer is quenched because we doubt that our prayers will work or make any, any difference. This is the job of the devil. The evil to a child's end to believe in prayer doesn't work. So why pray at all? So we come to prayer oftentimes with the expectation that we are not going to get what we ask for. And we are so focused on not getting what we're asking for that we forget to even pray. The devil uses, uses times when God doesn't answer your prayers as a way to damage your relationship with God. Because he'll cause you not to pray but when you get in a mode that I won't pray because nothing's happening. And so he takes you out of the mindset of being, when you get in prayer, it's not only about what you're asking for, it's about what God is saying. It's about relationship, it's about connection. And whenever you're in connection, you start to get an understanding that it may not be right now, but it's going to come. So when you're waiting on God, you're, when you're waiting, when you're in prayer, when you're in prayer, if you're not focused on, wait on just what you're asking for, but you're focused on the conversation, you won't be distracted by the enemy who tells you it's not happening right now. I say because God will give you a peace and an understanding that you don't even quite know why it's happening. I don't even know what's going on, but I know it's going to work. That's what happens whenever you put prayer over what you want. You put prayer over your ass because we come to the book and we say, you know what? Whatever I should ask in God's name, I, I sh it should be given to me. But I would have you go to Matthew, the 22nd chapter. I'm sorry, 21st chapter, um, 22nd verse. Um, and we, we pick it up and he says, and what's, whatever things that you ask in prayer, believing you receive. But before that, you get you get the you 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 see that Jesus walks up on the fig tree, speaks to the fig tree, the fig tree withers away. The 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 uh, the, the disciples begin excited and they say, "Well, man, how you do that? Man, you got you 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 got that thing. You got all the power. How you how you how you do that?" And Jesus shows you something something about prayer that we 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 forgetting that anytime you start to mix prayer with stuff, stuff start to happen. Uh, and, and you have to have prayer along with everything else as a believer. When it says the effectual and fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much, you need the righteous man, but you need prayer also. So you could be a righteous man and not avail of much without no prayer. But if you have prayer and righteousness, you can avail of much. You get what I you get what I'm saying? He he tells them to the He said, with faith and prayer, you can speak to the mountain and tell the mountain, be thou removed. Now I need faith, but I also gotta have prayer. I what is he saying? I have to have relationship and prayer in order for the mountain to be removed. I can have a whole lot of faith, but if I don't have a relationship, there ain't no mountains moving. It's a whole lot of people wondering why mountains are still staying in their life. It's because you got a great prayer life, but you don't have, I'm sorry, but you got a great, um, you, have, you have great talk, you have great things, but you don't have relationship and you don't have faith. There's something missing. The word can't lie. So, if you're speaking, the mountains and mountains are not moving. You're missing something. You either missing the prayer or you're missing the faith. It's one of the two. You can't blame the word because we know the word is true. We know the word is good all by itself. It can't be wrong. It says you're making requests is one of the needed aspirants of prayer. We can't ignore that we go to God for the things that we need. 
we, 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 can't, we, can't, we can't ignore that. We, we find that in Mark 11. We find that in John 14. You see that Jesus is constantly all through, all through the book of John in, in the 15th chapter, 17th verse, the 15th verse, um, the 15th chapter, the 16th verse. Jesus is constantly teaching, teaching them that, hold on, now pray these things in my name. And if you pray asking me, uh, then... I will do it for you. But there's a secret to that. As if he is not telling us this simply because he's saying, look here, just say my name and I'm going to bless you. He's getting you in the, he's getting you in the habit of coming to him and having relationship. He's getting you, getting you used to, listen here, if you come and you get used to talking to me, get used to understanding me, get used to understanding, me, not even, not, not even about what you need that I'll bring to you, then I'll change your prayers. I'll change the things that you think that you even need. I'll get you in a place, I'll get you in a place that you'll be more like me and you'll think of the things more like me. So the car that you once desired, oh, you'll, get to, you'll get out of praying for that and you'll get out of praying to have good financial habits. See, it's, it's God, God is teaching these things and he's saying about coming, getting closer to me because he understands, listen, you can't get to the Father yet through by me. So before you even get to going to asking God about anything, I need you to come through me. You have to come through me. And if you don't come through me, there's nothing in it for you. So I don't mind you coming and asking for um, some things because whenever we start looking at, whenever we start looking at this particular pericope of scriptures, and we, we look and we study it, we look at it through a pedagogical lens at first, but then when you step back and look at it through a parental lens, look at it through the lens of a father talking to children. I, 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 listen, son, I don't always want you to call me just to say I need something, but call me and say, Daddy, I love you. Call me and say, Daddy, Lord, I miss you. Daddy, I remember all the things, the good things that you did for me. Don't wait till Father's Day to celebrate me. Send me something on my birthday. I just don't want no socks. But you want, you want your children to come to you and show love all the time. You don't want it to be the only time your son hugs you. You know, we know how our children move. We know how they act. Sometimes they'll make a certain face. And you'll be like, what you want? We have to be careful because we don't want to get in a position with God that every time we come to him, he's like, what do you want? But we have, we have, we have my daughter Crystal. My, my daughter Crystal is smooth with it. My daughter smooth with it. My daughter, she calls me every single night. 10, 10, 15 on the dot, 9 o'clock their time in Chicago, calls me on the dot. Her and her and my, and my youngest little baby, they call me. And they, they call me, hey, Daddy, how was your day today? What did you do? Oh, nothing, chilling. What's going on? You nothing, just chill. And they chit chat. I said, oh, okay, what did you guys do? Oh, nothing. We played outside. We did our schoolwork, this and this. And. But, Daddy, you know, we were looking on Amazon and, and, and this and this. And, and I'm, I'm laying there in the bed, and before I even know it, I'm like, okay, um, how much is it? Now, they, they haven't asked me to buy a thing. But now my oldest, Christiana, she's a teenager. You know, they don't want to talk to you as much as they used to. So when she texts, hey, daddy, is everything okay? Because I understand when she coming, she needs something. They're coming and they need something, but because they come first and show and come show a little bit of concern, a little bit of love, a little bit of compassion, I forget about that and I just pay. It is the same thing that we do when we go to Jesus. Jesus said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't be so quick. To, 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 I know I told you to come and ask for stuff. That's cool. But I still want you to remember. The reason I'm telling you to come to me, because I want you to remember who can do all things. I don't want you going to nobody else. See, I don't want them going to another man and another man using anything. Because that's how the enemy gets people anyway. Because first of all, everybody says the devil, his job is to steal, kill, and destroy. That's his job. That's his modus operandi. That's what he wants to get. 
get done. But the uh, but the, the but his motive of operation is not always how we uh, how we call it out in the church because we always talking about oh a disease come that's the devil oh um bankruptcy that's the devil or you lost your car that's the devil but guess what Lil Wayne is a millionaire that's the devil uh, um Bill, um Donald Trump he's a millionaire that's the devil and see so you can um the devil can bless you as well because remember now he didn't just he didn't come to Jesus in the wilderness with threats he came to him and offered him great things so the enemy will the enemy will taint your prayer life will get you into how he moves because he cares nothing about whether or not you're happy right now he understands he understands the long run I'm going to hell I need you to go to hell too so what do I do I get you praying in a way that you don't even have a relationship or a connection so guess what when you look up you go on like the scripture says you lift up and you find yourself in hell and then you're looking and wondering well but I, I've been in church all of these times because one I didn't pray. Like Jesus did. The Bible says that Jesus goes into the garden and prays with such fervency. He said the sweat beads start to come from his head. Dribblets of blood coming down. But the people around him ain't even making an hour. No dedication. It is not foreign to me that if those that walk with Jesus and saw all of these great miracles, or saw him um, um, turn, um, or, or knew about him turning water into wine, seeing him um, make loaves and breads of fish, multiply and feed all these people, watched him walk on the water, and still they couldn't be motivated to pray one hour. I know you can't pray for an hour. We know they get, we know people can't pray because they can't stand they can't stand and stand in relationship with God too long. They can't stand his presence too long. That's why some people say church is too long. But the same person who say church is too long will go watch the four hour Terminator movie. So God has a limit. But well, whoever made the movie, Steven Spielberg, I don't even know who who, who made them jokers. There's no time limit for, for, for Regal Cinema. You can stay in your bed and watch the whole season of Real Housewives of Atlanta and all that cussing and foolishness. And then come to, and then come to Sunday service, be on the front row talking about some, hold on, preacher, you're preaching too long. That's because you can't stand relationship. How you going to get to heaven when one of your requirement is to pray all day? But you got to be in a con continuous state of worship. If you do slip in, you're going to get kicked out. We had a term in the military, they called it malingering. You're going to surely be a malingerer because you, you was not going to be able to keep up. In closing, it is obvious um, that the positive answer to our prayers come when praying for his kingdom to expand, for his will to be done, for his name to be glorified. In other words, God is most pleased and delighted to answer requests that see his family increases size, his desire accomplished on earth, his name are promoted up on, among the nations. Pray for Family matters. Jesus believed and acted on the confidence that God answered his prayers. We too can have the same confidence. Once we understand that the mind and heart of Jesus and then pray accordingly, then when our prayers being answered, it will only give us confidence, boldness to pray for even greater things. The first step to praying like Jesus is to believe in Jesus. Not only is that the, the first step, that is the most important important step because you can't follow the example of someone that you don't believe in. You can't you can't be led by someone you have no confidence in. You can't be inspired by somebody that you think is a fraud. So in order for you to get to this place, 
in order to pray like Jesus, that's the thing. You got to believe in him. Second thing, stop being selfish and worried about yourself. Our, one of our first mandates is to be intercessors, to pray for other people before we pray for ourselves. I got the Holy Ghost not because I prayed and asked God for it. It's because my brother was standing next to me and he was just crying out, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I stopped praying and saying, God, feel me. And I said, God, feel him. God, feel him. Touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him. And while I'm saying touch him, I, I begin to shake and move. I start feeling the power of God and knocking down chairs and knocking people over and kicking things everywhere. It is because I realized then that when I'm praying for something else, God will move for me. See, if you can get out of what you want and get to praying for people because that's what Jesus, everything Jesus did was about us. Every prayer was about us. It was about fulfilling a mission that would one day save us, that would one day would restore us back to God. He was always in a state of intercession. And if you can be in a state of intercession, that's the key to praying like Jesus. That prayer is not about you and what you want, but prayer is about helping somebody else come out of what they're going through. If you can get into praying and helping people come out of what they're going through, through, then God can move for you. Yes. That is how you pray like Jesus. Amen. I, I hope I, I've been a blessing to someone um, tonight. I, um, this was, um, you know, I had to give a, a, a big ups to my pastor, Pastor Stephen A. Smith, Esquire. Yeah, I know some of y'all pastors got doctor or whatever they name, but mine is Esquire, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When they hunt it, get you out of trouble. Like. <laughs> but um, all jokes aside, and it, um, it's a blessing for him saying, believe in what God has already given you and what God has showed you. And so tonight, um, as we end, I just want to say that, listen, um, when, when you hear this, you want to check the scriptures out. Matthew 7, John 14, John 15, do all the time, and really pay attention why God is so adamant about you coming to him in prayer and what Jesus' ultimate goal was and why he prayed the way that he did. Jesus, always, Jesus was always going to be able to get into heaven. He was always going back to the Father. He already had the most intimate relationship with God that you could have. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. He was already close. The prayer wasn't for him. He already had all power promised to him. He was already a king. He didn't need to ask for anything. He already had it. Because everything already belonged to his father. I and my father are one. And Jesus and God, they own everything. But when you look at it from that lens, then why the prayers? Prayers have always been for us. That our fall from grace and our inability at that point to get into heaven. There was no promise for us. Jesus' purpose was to intercede on our behalf. Amen. Um, as we're getting ready to, to close. We want to thank everyone that um, that listening to this, uh, listening to this audio, um, wherever you may be, whether it be Facebook, YouTube, uh, um, Instagram, um, Twitter, whatever you're on, whatever um, social media platform that you're on. We thank you um, for listening in with us, for allowing us to come into your homes um, on this Wednesday night. Um, um, we hope that everyone is being safe. Everyone is okay in the midst of, of this COVID-19 pandemic. We, we ask that everyone would please continue to social distance. Please continue um, to, be, to be vigilant in and, and, and the safety measures that have been put out by the CDC and others. 
understanding that this thing is not over with, even though you see things that are relaxing and going back, you know, um, we, we want to protect, especially in our communities. We want to protect our elderly. We want to protect our, our young. We want to protect those of us that have pre-existing conditions and things that make us more susceptible to COVID-19. Um, um, you're looking, as you can see, probably on the screen now, you, you'll see the, um, the ways that you can give. We have Cash App, we have Givelify, um, and we also have, you can go to the church website and be able to secure a link there to give as well. Also, feel free to, you know, mail, mail checks in, whatever you want to send, whatever you want to give.